know, 2020 season's here. Black powder season's here. Uh, opening morning, me and Jordan are ready. Um, we head to the farm where we had kind of um, hadn't hunted a whole lot during bow season just because the wind on a lot of the days wasn't right. You know, to hunt those, those stands, um, the wind wasn't right. And a lot of times I don't like hunting fields in the mornings. It's just because I, I'm afraid I bump more deer than I than I do anything else hunting them in the morning. But this particular morning, I felt that we could slip in there, kind of quiet, and, and get set up in the stand. In day 2020, black powder season. Me and Jordan going down here. I'm gonna try to get the deal in this morning. Jordan, he's shooting my old black powder gun, which is a CBA Acura. 50 cal uh, with the Bogara barrel on it. I'm shooting a new Thompson Center 50 cal Pro Hunter. Uh, visibility in the low country of uh, Brunswick County uh, was a little bit limited that morning due to the fog. Watched the little buck that morning first thing. Just a low visibility morning until that sun started popping up and burning some of that fog off. I heard the radio key up and it was Jordan and he's keying up the radio saying, it's three bucks coming to you, daddy. And it's a really big buck behind them. I couldn't get the buck to stop. I hit the grunt call. He was a long ways away, just, you know, trying to get his attention. Hard to pull him away from his girlfriend, you know, with a grunt call sometimes. But um, this particular time in the season, it worked. He turned, uh, came out of that little hedgerow he had ran into, and he came looking for a fight. So I grunted to him, try to get him a little closer, but uh, once once I got him within range of me being comfortable, um, I could tell he was looking for that buck. He's been looking for that buck and didn't see that buck. So he was kind of getting to the point where he knew some some might not be right. I don't see this buck in the field. He's grunted quite a few times now. And uh, so he's broadsided, uh, ranged it. He's at 155 yards. Field the air, I couldn't see anything. Uh, when it when it cleared out, I could see him running straight to me. And uh, at that point, I think he might have ran 30 or 40 yards, and he dropped in the field. Yes, sir. Big buck down, baby. Big buck down. That's what it's all about, right there. He ain't the biggest buck I've ever killed, but he is a pretty buck. And we got it on film. Everything came together this morning. That's what it's all about, man. 
I love this. This never gets old. Never. I still got a few of them. He's down in the field right here. I'm going to try to be quiet and ease out. The feeling of having the sun hunting with you. This is first year. You're really hunting to stand by itself. Um, and we got radios. We communicate with earpieces. Kind of stay safe. But, you know, for him to see that buck and, and he could see the, the bigger buck and he, he passed up on the does and had the smaller buck come by and he was, and it was a, still a nice buck and he just couldn't get right. Was that exciting or what, boy? Safety harness on. We're gonna go up there, get a gun, and get him uh, out of the tree. And I'll stay tuned. There he is. A beautiful eight pointer. Man, I tell you, if mornings like this are just, you can't, it doesn't get old. You know, if you could bottle this up right here, you could sell it for a million dollars a piece. It's just something that can't describe it. pictures of these big bucks that are going to be harvested and uh, from everyone here at Bait and Wade Outdoors thank y'all thank y'all for looking at our videos and thank y'all for subscribing take care